will never get a software engineering job if you do these three things. And I know because I currently work as a software engineer and I can tell you that if I did these three things, I would not have my job. I will not be in the Bay Area making the amount of money that I am. And so let's get into it so you can actually not make these mistakes. One, you have a terrible GitHub profile and you like never code, have a terrible GitHub, never code. If your GitHub profile looks like this and you wanna know, hey, Raymond, why does your GitHub profile look not green at all? Well, that's because I have a job and so I don't have to do it. But if you don't have a job and your GitHub profile is just blank, you don't code, you don't write commits, you're not building any projects, you are cooked, like you're not getting better at programming, right? This is me in 2014, which, you know, I coded up a little bit. It was not not great, whatever, but you know, I was making some, uh, some stuff. But the big thing though, is that like, this is going back actually all the way up to 16, 17. But like, if your thing just looks like this, it's just completely blank. Like that's really, really bad. And you need to start coding because when you get an interview, they're gonna ask you, hey man, what have you coded? Or they're gonna ask you, Hey, like when you get into an interview, they're going to ask you, Hey, what did you code? Or they're going to say, Hey, I need you to code this thing. And if you can't do either of those, like you're not going to get the job and like coding helps you directly with being able to do that. So if I can get you to do something, it would just be code, 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 code. Let's go into the second thing, which is you can't do basic arrays or string problems. Like you just never do them, never bother with them. You can't do them. That's the way that you can guarantee that you're not going to get the job um, because when they ask you and you struggle, if when they ask you, find the B character inside this string and you cannot do that or it takes you 10 minutes to do this, just this takes 30 seconds to code, or maybe a minute to code. And if it takes you 10 minutes to do that, like it, it's not looking good for you. I don't know how else to say it, um, but like you need to be able to just do basic array problems. If your leak code profile looks like mine did in 2018, man, like I'm so sorry, it's looking dicey for you. I don't know what to say um, because you compare this in 2018 to 2024, like it's no reason, at least for me, my thought is, if I see someone's profile and it looks like this and they told me they're unemployed, like there's, there's probably other things, right? So maybe they didn't, maybe their GitHub profile also looks bad, but like um, they're already ahead, they're ahead, they're looking good um, and we could probably work on something here. But I'm not even to say that you have to look like this, but like I can guarantee that if your thing looks like this, I don't think your odds of passing the coding interview are going to be good, honestly, unless your GitHub profile looks really, really good, unless you've been really, really contributing. Um, so, you know, and I, which I don't think most people are, I think most are, are not doing that. So um, this is the other thing you can do if you want to just keep your GitHub profile, have it look that, have this thing look out really, really ugly, have this thing up here look super, super blank. That'll, that'll guarantee that you never get the job. I can, I can be happy about that um, or happy saying that. Third thing. Third thing, you never message recruiters. Don't message them. You don't send them out any messages. Like this one's like a little bit different, but it goes into how do you get the interviews? And like, if you're not messaging them, well then how are they gonna know to hire you? Like how do they know you even want a job? And most recruiters don't know you by name. And so they can't actually give you any job. But if you message them, um, it could be the case that they have one spot open, your profile stands out. They don't have to, you know, you get to push to the top of the stack because when they go to look at all their candidates and you cold apply it online, you're at the bottom. Other bonus too that you can do actually is you can get a referral. So the fourth thing, if you never want to, so it's fine. You don't have to message recruiters. Okay, sure. We, we don't do that. Well then let's say you just, you just never ask people for referrals so that you have an inside person hand to your resume. So you, there's two ways you can do it. You can message the recruiter directly, or you can actually get an inside man to pass your resume over to the recruiter, someone who works at the company and they will actually push you to the top of the stack. So when, when there's a ton of candidates, instead of you sitting here at the bottom, never seen, because there's tons of other people, your inside man just goes in and gets it for you. And like, you may be wondering, how do you get referrals? Well, then you'll have a school profile or like some kind of community thing, but like basically you will post in communities. So this person's insane. I don't, can't even imagine the amount of posting that goes on here. But like, if you post, if you talk to people, if you like interact with other people, like they're gonna wanna give you referrals. I find it, it's very rare that I see someone who actually contributes in communities like this, where everybody knows their face and then they don't get like a referral or like they can't ask somebody because most software engineers will hand out referrals like candy. Um, they just have to know your name, know you exist. So you've got two options there. I mean, you can never do this if you want to make sure that you're unemployed. Um, I would just never talk to anybody, never talk to anyone online, never go to conferences, um, you know, never follow this thing here where you comment on LinkedIn, where you build in public, where you DM recruiters, where you join a community, where you go to tech conferences and have other people see you. Just never do it. Um, and finally, if you want to uh, guarantee it, you'd never pay your recruiter $50 to fix your resume and you just cold apply with your bad resume. So 
yeah, I think this one's pretty self-explanatory. If you're gonna, if you're really looking for a job paying you a hundred thousand dollars, I think you can shell out the fifty dollars. I think you cannot go to chill out on the boba tea. I think you can chill out on a coffee or maybe five coffees, whatever. Uh, maybe going to McDonald's, maybe going to Chipotle, whatever. Maybe you just go inside and cook the meal yourself. Um, if you're really, really like that, you know, lacking on the money, I think you can try cooking um, as opposed to going out. Or maybe you don't buy the next, the newest Tesla. Maybe you, you know, go a little bit lower and uh, maybe get the Honda or the uh, Toyota. Um, and maybe you don't buy brand new. Maybe you buy used, right? Like, I think there's a ton of options for not spending um, insane amounts of money. And um, I think there's another ton of options for uh, kind of um, setting yourself up for like the most success. And I think talking to a recruiter, some kind of expert who actually does it, um, not posting anonymously on Reddit and letting Redditors kind of give you the advice. So anyways, I those are like the things that I would do for, um, those are the five things that I would say, like would guarantee that you don't get the job. And like, for me, like, I mean, I didn't do those things and like, I have the job and I think I see like the, the really, really stark difference between people who do get jobs and people who don't is that, um, the people who do get jobs have done tons of legal problems or they have a ton of experience already. Um, so they don't need like the get up profile. Um, they are okay, you know, having five or 10 people review the resume and just like grinding through that, or they'll just pay someone to review the resume. And, um, they'll also message people referrals. They get interviews from those referrals. Um, and they also message recruiters. So, uh, hopefully this video helps. Hopefully it kind of makes sense. I thought it was a kind of an interesting thing because you can just literally just look on the profile. Like what's your GitHub look like? What's your Luca profile look like? Okay, great. I, I know exactly why I I see the problem here. So cool, cool. I'll uh, see you guys later. And, um, if you want to check out my other videos, I do have, um, some other ones when I talk about, uh, you know, this kind of job hunting stuff. So for who to check those videos out.